Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q1 of the weekly contest 293, find result in a way after removing anagrams. So this one, uh, there's a lot of reading, I think is the tricky part, but the hardest part is just making sure that it, you only look at adjacent ones. And when you look at adjacent ones, and you and then the two keywords, right? one is adjacent, and then the other is keep doing it until uh, while well, you could do it. And that gives you the idea that you could just keep doing it. Um, the way that I did it is with a stack because every time you put a number, you want to check if the previous number and then you pop it off as you keep going. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can also just do a lot of for loops. I think n cube is probably fast enough if you're not really uh, sure. Um, but And the way naive way is just uh, keep doing for loops and as soon as you find one keep doing again that's going to be n square because you do one linear scan and at most um, you can remove one item each so n square times the length of the word which is 10 so that'll be fast enough as well um, but the way that I did was with a stack and uh, much quicker um, of course I am a little bit lazy of the sorted things but yeah uh, allergies um, yeah. Um, okay Oh, excuse me. Well, yeah. Uh, hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. And you could watch me solve live during the contest. <laughs> oh, jeez. Next. Mouse for this. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, hmm. Unless I misread the poem. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem and this contest and all these other good things. Uh, I'll see you later. Take care. And yeah, goodbye.